Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. What is up, what is up, what is up? So, I'm going to be talking about a few things here that I've noticed that a lot of people are angry about. Which is me having somebody, you know, somebody that was willing to go out of their way and stand up for me. And I see everybody talking all this shit. I do. I see it every day. But does it bother me? It depends. If it's something that's personal to me, then yes, it does bother me a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much, though. But what gets me is how the hell anybody can sit there and give Tony, who is literally the world's biggest pedophile, a pass. But yeah, you got somebody like me that got tricked, and yet I'm not allowed to go about my way. Even though I showed tons and tons of evidence that I was tricked, that Marty and Kate set all that shit up to fuck with me. So my question is this. Why do those guys get a... Why, why should they get a pass? Like, it makes no sense. Actually, I'm not, dude. I mean, y'all can sit there and call me a predator all you want, but you know it's a lie, man. Yo, gang gang, what up, dude? How you doing, money gang? What's up, man? How you doing, dude? What's up? Oh yeah, dude. I've been dude, I've been going through this shit since fucking 2017, dude. Yo, Thanos. What up, man? But yeah, dude, I've been going through this shit since fucking 2017, bro. It's not been easy. It's definitely been rough, dude, for sure. But someone did bring up a very valid question um, in one of the backstage comments when I was over on uh, Daily Hus or uh, over on Daily Struggles live stream. Um, somebody actually asked me, like, what is it that I want to get out of life? You know, like, what is it that I want to get out of life? And what is it that I want for my future? And let me tell you what I want to get out of life. I want to be able to be successful doing what I love. That's what I want to get out of life. Like, I want to be able to look back when I'm old and gray and I'm on my deathbed. I want to be able to look back in my life and look back at everything that I've overcome, everything that I've dealt with. And I want to be able to look back and be like, yeah, I made it past this shit. I did something. I actually, you know, did something with my life. That's what I want to get out of life, man. I don't want to be sitting here dealing with fucking asshole trolls all the time. Fuck them. Which is why I am going to be going on the hunt for a brand new mod that was just as badass as Troll Hunter. I mean, I'm going to be talking to a few people about possibly bringing them on 
as moderators to, you know, to help clean up the channel. The starting effects are going to happen, that's for sure. Like, all of that does start today, for sure. I don't know to what extent that everything is going to happen. All I know is that everything and starting the process to try to get my life back on track, all of that starts today. Today starts with the troll stuff to try to get that start and started up to where they can't do anything. Uh, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment to try to get my eczema healed up so I can start you know, physically feeling better. No, all you do is just, if you see a troll comment, you just get rid of them. Because, believe it or not, dude, dealing with eczema like I deal with, it's not easy. And one of the biggest causes of flare-ups is stress and that's what the guy these guys have put me under since 2017 is a lot of stress to the point to where i now suffer from ptsd and i suffer from depression and it fucking sucks And no, I'm not going to dance. I've been retired from that shit. Because for me, Marty ruined dancing for me. Marty ruined that for me. Like, he truly ruined that for me. Which is why I have no interest in doing it anymore at all. I have zero interest in dancing. Because Marty took something that I used to do. Oh yeah, dude, I dude, I used to do dancing all throughout my high school career. Um I'm actually still very good friends with my dance partner from high school. Me and her are still super tight, we're still super close, you know. So I mean I did used to dance and when I first came on to YouTube, there was a point in time where uh, when I came to high school, I would always do dance battles like we used to do back in the day. I know you remember those. Um, but there was a dude after high school that thought that I still that I didn't have my skill that I used to have back in high school. So I made a video and I sent it to him. Need us say? He responded to me in a message and was like, damn, dude, you actually do still got it. Holy shit. And because of that video, everybody's always wanting me to dance, always wanting me to do this, always wanting me to do that. And what happened was I initially started to do dance on a regular basis on YouTube as something that, you know, that I enjoyed, something that I love to do on you know a once in a while basis well marty well music biz marty he basically took that and ruined it like marty basically took what i used to enjoy and he ruined it by trying to force me to do it every day hours on end like he literally tried to there was one point where he actually tried to blackmail me. He flat out said, like, either you dance or I'm going after your friend who he had on panel with me at that point in time. He basically said, like, hey, either you dance or, you know, I'm going to dox your friend. And don't get me wrong, I love my friend to death, but... I wasn't about to give in to a bully. Because one thing that I've learned, never give in to a bully. Never give in to somebody that's doing that shit. 
Never give in to someone that's being a bully or trying to blackmail you. So I straight out told him, no, I'm not going to do it. And you are going to leave my friend the fuck alone. Or I'm going to report you to the police for blackmail. Because I have the evidence right here. I recorded what you said. And bear in mind, the police were called. But they kept on giving me that runaround of, oh, call the police in your area. We can't do anything. Kind of deal. All right, me and body, yeah. Me and body are still tight. Me and body are still super tight. I was actually just talking to him the other day. Yo, ball crusher, what up, man? That is a funny name, by the way, man. That is that that's original as fuck. Oh, dude, you think that's bad, man? When and then you can find this video evidence anywhere on YouTube, bro. If you go and look, there was a point in time where I got shot at through my bedroom window while on a live stream. And Police got called and they flat out didn't do anything. I don't have it. I don't know who the fuck told you that shit. But that's the kind of shit that these people have done all these years, man. They've sat there, they blackmailed me, attacked me, targeted me, uh, made me look like something that I'm not, have harassed me over it, attacked me over it, uh, ruined friendships. My own, my own adoptive dad ended up disowning me because of these fucking assholes. Um, at one point, I actually did get drove to the edge to where I actually did attempt to end my life and self-delete two separate times on two different occasions on live stream because that's the point that they pushed me to and I hated it. I don't know if his trolls got in contact with me or not. I don't know. To me, I don't care whose troll they are. I don't care where they come from. To me, a troll is a troll. To me, a troll is an asshole that doesn't have a life. <clears throat> but that's just my opinion. I don't, dude. Get the fuck out of here. On a side note, I do want to give a massive, massive shout out to Daily Struggle, man. Uh, again, Daily Struggle, I don't know if you're going to see us or not, brother. But, uh, Zaya, man, thank you for having me on, bro. I definitely appreciate the interview that we did. Um, had a lot of fun, dude. I actually enjoyed it, enjoyed the vibes, had a good time. And everybody that actually stood up yesterday and actually defended me, over on Zaya's channel, over there on Daily Struggle, man. I want to say thank you to you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys for actually stepping up and being like, yo, this is bullshit. And again, I do apologize for coming in a little bit sideways. I came in in the middle of a conversation, in the middle of the conversation, so I didn't know what was really going on. All I heard was one person saying one thing, somebody else saying another. So. Yeah, I do apologize for coming in crazy on you guys, man. I do apologize for that. But I definitely enjoyed it, man. I do appreciate y'all defending me 100%. Oh, he did, man. Zaya bounced those motherfuckers out of there like crazy when I was doing the interview with him. It was like a fucking, what, four or five hour long interview? Well, it was initially like, it was supposed to be like an hour and then, I ended up hanging out. We ended up talking more and just ended up shooting the shit for like the next three hours. 
So I definitely had fun, man. Yo, yo, Money Gang, were you over there in Isaiah's stream? Were you over there watching? Because I think I remember seeing you over there. Weren't you over there watching, dude? All right, is that where you came from? Did you, like, come over here from his community? Like, are you part of his community or something, dude? Yo, Ben, yo, dude, I'll definitely mod you up, homie. I got you. Anybody that's from Zaya's community, man, you guys are more than welcome over here, man. Anybody from Zaya's community, man, I'll mod you guys up, man. No fucking problem. Like, if I see, if I go back and I look and I see that you're in his comments during his live streams and y'all are making your way over here, bro, I'll mod you guys up. You guys are cool as fuck. I actually had fun with you guys, man. I actually had a blast, man. It was fun. I actually got to speak the truth about what these guys do. And I basically got to show that I'm not this piece of shit fucking weirdo that these guys make me out to be, you know? So, Zaya, man, appreciate you, dog. 100%, man. Much respect to you, bud. Okay, and why should I give a fuck about what that dude says or does? Like, why should I give a fuck about that weirdo? Am I going to be doing a music uh, production session? I don't know. I was thinking on either doing that or possibly even doing a DJ session where I just hang out and I do a few mixes and shit and have a good time. So, I don't know. Hey, no problem, money gang. Like I said, man, I seen you over there in the comments, man. I definitely appreciate what y'all were doing, dog. Y'all are cool as fuck. Insulated's actually a growing ass adult. So, miss me with that bullshit. Or, as they had said the other night, next. Hey, ETC Zaya, what up, dude? Hold on, let me make sure that's actually you, though, dog. Hold on, let me go to my other channel here. Let me go to, well, not my other channel. Let me go to my thing here because I want to make sure that that's actually you because if it is you, brother, I will mod you up. Like, I will mod you up in a heartbeat, my guy. Oh, let's go to studio. Because this seems to be the only way that I can do it, apparently. I want to make sure that's actually you. Sorry, I'll try to figure out how. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh shit, that is you, Zaya. Oh, it's not thinking it is. Hold up. Yo, I need somebody to. Can somebody go over there and confirm whether that's actually him or not? That way I know. Trying to figure out how the hell I go over to see your channel, but it's not letting me do it. Hang on. I think I figured it out. Okay, yeah, it is you, dog. Sweet. Because every time I pull it up, it literally says his thing, so. Because whenever I time in ETC Zaya and the thing. You're not running. You're not rolling, Danny. Yo, Cleet Zaya, what up, dude? Welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing, man? I remember seeing you over in the chat the other night when I was hanging out, man. I definitely had fun hanging out with you guys, bro. For real. I definitely had fun with you guys, man. I, I genuinely had a good time. And yo, Zaya. Shout out to your girl and all the people that were, yo, uh, next time that you talk to your girl, man, let her know that I do apologize to the people that were on the stream last night defending me. I do apologize to them. I came in at a really weird time during the conversation, and all I heard was a uh, dude talking about it's all about this and that and the other. And I, I really came in at a really weird time, so I definitely do apologize for that, for sure. Like, I definitely do apologize for coming off in a very, not so much sideways way, but in like that kind of a, you know what I mean, bro. <laughs> you see what I deal with and I see what you deal with, man. You deal with the same shit that I deal with on a daily basis, dog. It fucking sucks. But uh, like I said, man, I do I do like your attitude when it comes to the streams, man. It's all about content first and foremost. I respect that, dude. I respect that. You take pride in your content. You take pride in your channel, and you want your channel to be the best channel that it can be, man. I respect the fuck out of that, bro. Like, I do, man. I definitely respect that shit. And honestly, bro, there needs to be more people like you on this platform, man. There really does. Like, there definitely needs to be more people like you on this platform that are like, yo, this shit's bullshit, dude. Like, leave it alone, man. Like, let us do our content and let us hang out and have fun, bro. Oh, for real, dude. For real, dog. Because like I said, man, I'm a literally... Huh, wait, so you're calling yourself a groomer right now? Is that what you're saying, that you're fake? Ah, that tells me that you're fake. Oh, don't worry. I'll be letting the reels and know what you've been doing, dog, for sure. I'll definitely be giving them a heads up and letting them know what's up. Yo, Macaque, what up, dude? 
Michael Moshone, what up? Yo, happy Memorial Day, Wade. How you doing, man? Hey, just a just a crack a joke here, man. Just to be funny, crack a joke, man. What up, Wade Wilson? Deadpool looking motherfucker. How you doing, man? <laughs> Hey, you know I gotta get a fucking Deadpool joke in there at some point, bro. You know I gotta get a Deadpool joke in, man. But see, these are the kind of streams that I like with you guys, man. Hanging out, having a good time, kicking it, relaxing, and having fun. Like, this is what I enjoy, man. I like having fun with y'all, man. Not all this, oh... You're this, you're that, blah, 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 No, fuck that shit. I would rather have a few people that enjoy my streams, that want to hang out and have fun, than to be sitting there bitching and whining and fighting, like, you know what I mean, man? Like, I'm not about that negative shit. Save the, save the drama for your mama, man. If you're gonna come in here and hang out and have fun, leave the drama at the front door, man. And I'll pick it up when you leave. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm just here to have fun and create content and get paid. Actually, no, I went on his stream by my own accord, man. I agreed to go up there on my own accord. I did not get paid. I did not want to get paid. I went up there on my own accord to hang out and have a good time. I went out there to speak the truth about what's really going on. His wife asked me if I wanted to come out there and hang out and have a good time and speak about what's going on. And I said, absolutely, because I've been watching, like, I've been watching Daily Struggle for a while now. I've been watching Daily Struggle for about a year and a half now, and I really like what he's about. I love what, his, what he does on his channel. So as soon as he had, as soon as his wife came over, I was like, yo, like, do you want to bounce up? Absolutely. Hey, Papa Carl, what up, dude? What's going on, big dog? I'm not getting paid anything right now, Taylor, because I am working on getting my channel back up to the sub count and the view count that it needs to be to. And then once that happens, then I'll be... Like, then I'll be actually doing shit. Yo, Carl, let me mod you up, bro. Because I remember you were a mod on my, um, on my other channel before Fat Ass Marty took it over. So, you're all situated, brother. You're good to go, man. I need a chance to get you to sing groceries. Oh, you're good, Michael. It's all good, brother. No worries, man. And no, I cannot do street racing scene as of right now, but I am going to be working on getting all the rights to all my music back. I am going to be working on that. That right there is going to be a bit of a longer process, but I am going to be working on getting my music back so I can actually go in and perform the songs for you guys that, you know, you guys enjoy seeing me do. Yeah, it was a, it was Edward Boy and William Glory Hall. They made the name Lance Chilkins to steal my shit. So they do still hold the copyrights to it, even though my voice is on it. But I do have evidence that is undeniable about them openly admitting to stealing my music and this and that and the other. So. I will be slowly and methodically and trying to just really doing what I need to do to try to get my music back on track. 
Because believe it or not, dude, I have a lot of songs recorded that I do want to release, including a couple brand new genres that I've been dabbling in and working on. Uh, one of them actually including doing metalcore and combining that with hip hop. Yo, Retro Bro, what up, dude? Glad to see you back over here, brother. How you doing, man? Glad to see you back on here, big dog. How you doing, bro? I know, dude, and it's not that I don't have the rights. What happened was they stole the music. Like, they stole a lot of my songs. They stole a lot of my shit. Got the copyrights to it. So now whenever I play, say, say I go to perform my song Street Racing Scene for you guys that you guys love. Um, he would hit me with a copyright strike. Like, he would hit me with a copyright strike for no reason. Even though it's my music. Even though my voice is on it. I'm the one that recorded it. He sits there and makes up these lies. Saying, oh, it, you know, I'm a paid actor. Like he, let me tell y'all, man. The, these guys are such liars. Like, dude. They literally lie on terms of services. It's literally N word B O I. You can literally look it up. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Hey, I'm asking you something. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing, dude? <sighs> I know, and believe me, I want to sue him, but like I said, I have no money, which makes it hard for me to do. Do I still have weights? I haven't, dude, I'll be honest, I haven't gone to the gym in, like, fucking, what, four years? I do still work out, though, whenever I can. I do still work out here at home and stuff whenever I get the chance and I'm not busy doing shit. I do still work out, though. Like, I just run the basics and stuff like that. So I do still work out, just not at the gym right now because, obviously, it's it's kind of hard to go to the gym when you can't afford it. All right, take it easy, man. Be safe, Carl. Hope you have a good day at work, man. But uh, as for the people that are not trolls, man, yes, what it is is they took my name, which is actually Chance Wilkins, and they flipped the letters around to make Lance Chilkins. And that's what they've been going under to steal all my music and do this and do that and the other. It's fucking stupid. Just hanging out, having a good time there. Just hanging out, having fun. Um, I do vocal cover shows once in a while. Uh, well, actually, more than once in a while. I do, uh, like, I do a lot of vocal cover uh, shows. I do uh, gaming streams. I hang out with people. I hang out with a lot of the, like, the actual supporters and fans. I'll do... Uh, Fortnite matches with them once in a while. I'll hang out and have fun. Um, and for all y'all wondering, man, um, will I be doing an art stream sometime soon? Yes, I will. Because now that I fucking found my fucking art pens that I use to actually sketch with, um, I will be busting out some of my artwork, and I will be doing some actual hand-drawn artwork uh, sometime in the very near future. Once I get the troll shit dealt with, getting the lid on these guys, 
and making sure I can release merchandise for you guys. That is first and foremost to me. But on a side note, how many of you guys have been playing the new Fortnite season? Like, how, how many of y'all have been playing the new season of Fortnite? And if you have, do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Like, what's y'all's opinions on it? Nah, Grumpy, you ain't bought, man. Saren, what up? How you doing, girly? Got one of my besties up in this bitch. What's good? Hey, New York, I got you, bro. You stuck around, dog. I got you, bro. Bro, wasn't this cup? Man, any, any, bro, bro. Yo, Retro, what do I usually put in these cups in the, or first thing in the morning, bro? What do I usually put in these cups first thing in the morning, Saren? <laughs> Thank you, Saren. There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> Dude, I don't pay attention to N-Word Boy, and I don't care to watch any of his videos. Hey. You can't go wrong with a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning, bro. Well, like I said, man, I don't pay attention to N-Word Boy. Because all N-Word Boy is doing is he's looking for clout. He's trying to be a clout chaser. Bro, if there, bro, if there's a company that wants to work with me on doing that, I'd be down. I really would. Like, if there was a, bro, if there was a coffee brand, or or if there was like a company that wanted to, you know, work with me and create my own brand of coffee, I'd be down. I would seriously be down to create my own brand of coffee, a hundred percent. Yeah, I'll be I'll be honest, dude. I drink so much coffee that I'm surprised that every time I go to the doctor's office, I'm surprised that they have not pulled coffee out of my veins instead of blood. Okay, I'm basically a human coffee machine, dude. Like dead ass. I, I swear to fucking God, dude. Don't get me wrong. I love my doctor. Shout out to my doctor. You know exactly who you are. Not saying his name or putting his name out there because I don't want any shit started with him. But, like, dead ass though. Like, to my, doc, to my family doctor that's known me and my family for years, I fucking love you guys. Like, you guys are fucking awesome. Love you guys. Love my doctor. You guys are funny as fuck. By the way, to, if my dog, if my family doctor is watching this, motherfucker, I'm stealing your goddamn Harley, bitch. I'm taking that Harley, motherfucker. And yes, my doctor does ride a Harley. Fucking nice ass Harley, too, though. Not gonna lie. And yes, I'm a Harley fan. Personal favorite Harley. That I have ridden on before. I'm not driven, but I have hard, I have ridden on. I'm not driven it, but I have rode it. Which is a Harley Davidson Street Glide, man. Fucking love the Street Glides, dude. Those things are so fun to ride. Slowly getting better, man. It's a it's a it's a process, man. Like I said, tomorrow I start the eczema healing process with my doctor. Uh, tomorrow. We're going to be coming up with a plan to try to 
kick all this shit for good to where I can start healing properly and getting back to the way that I used to be before my health went to shit when it comes to the eczema stuff. Uh, never. I never talked about meeting up with King Cobra. I mean, I have no problem with the guy. I have nothing but love and respect for Cobra, but I know nothing about any meetup. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, Cobra is cool, man. I've hung out with Cobra a few times. He's a good dude. I do feel like there are some things that he could, you know, back off of. You know, there's a couple things that I feel like he needs to, you know, chill out with. But I'm not going to sit there and knock the guy, you know what I mean? Like, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Am I okay with what he does with the drink and shit? Not necessarily, but hey, it's his channel. He wants to throw his life away. That's on him. That's his choice. I can't stop the guy. I've tried telling him a lot of people. Hell, even Saren's tried telling him a couple times to chill, but he's going to do what he's going to do. It is what it is. Oh, no, dude, this is literally a private doctor. Like, this is literally a family doctor. And it's not through city. It's through, I, I forget which clinic it's through. It's not Cleveland Clinic. It's like one of the big hard-to-get-into ones. Like, the ones that you have to wait for, like, months on end. Oh, yeah, he gets trolled all the time, dude. It hasn't happened yet. I have talked to, I actually just the other day talked to Jordy. Uh, shout out to Jordy, man. Fucking love you, big dog. Um, I did talk to him literally, what was it, day before yesterday. Um, I did talk to him about getting onto the podcast. Um, I just got to get back to him at some point about doing that. And then from there, we should be good to roll. Oh, dude, like, Jordy's a good dude. Like, Jordy is a fucking... Jordy's actually one of the nicest people I've ever met, dude. Like, he really is. Like, I dare say that he is right up there with Zaya, for sure. And Zaya's one of the most respectful dudes I've met. Like, I used to just be a viewer of The Daily Struggle. But then for me to be able to actually meet one of my favorite YouTubers who just happens to be running his stuff, like, that was cool as fuck. The fact that I actually got to be on a panel with um, one of the YouTubers that I've been watching for a while, like, that was super sick. Like, that really was fucking cool. Yeah, I know. I'm not a huge fan of Boogie either, but Jordy, I respect Jordy. I do respect Jordy for sure. I don't hate Moth. I hate what he does. I don't, I'm sure as a person, outside of all the crazy shit, he's a cool dude. I'm just not a fan of what he does. Like, if he were to just chill out and not do all that dumb shit, I could see myself being cool with the guy. I really could. Like I said, I'm just not a fan of what he does. Like, I'm not a fan of how he takes shots at people and does this and that.
No, I haven't. Like I said, I don't pay attention to the troll shit. I don't go and watch their shit like that. Yeah, well, let me tell you, dude, there are, there's many other ways that he can make a living besides attacking people. There's many other ways. He can do gaming. He can do podcasts. He can do IRL streams. Um, he can do automotive shit, art, uh, sleep streams, even though I don't do sleep streams myself. That is a pretty popular thing, apparently, from what I've heard. Uh, ASMR shit, like, there, there's a there's a multitude of ways that he can actually make money other than attacking people. And you really think, bro, do you really think that, that Pebs and Zaya are fucking scared, bro? Did you see how Zaya handled the trolls the other night when I was on panel with him, dude? He was knocking those guys left and fucking right, hands down. I know, dude, and I, I need to do that. I What I need to do is I need to set up a brand new fucking uh, cash app. That's what I need to do. I need to set up a whole ass new cash app. That way I can start doing that. Nah. Zaya's too big for that shit, bro. Like that dude's... That dude's got twice the subscribers that Marty could ever hope to have, dude. Like, straight up. Like, Zaya's got double the subs of what Marty has. By far. Backstory on the name for this channel. It's because I do a lot of different types of gaming. I'm mostly known for doing like um, a lot of competitive racing, drifting. Um, I do a lot of Fortnite stuff, a lot of um, just different types of gaming in general, which is hence the name Omni, meaning many, meaning I'm multifaceted in different types of gaming. Um, I mostly uh, specialize in drift events. Like, I love drifting. I've basically been doing the sport for years when it comes to uh, sim racing and stuff. I've been doing drifting for quite a few years now. And then I also um, am really big with games like uh, Battle Teams 2. Um, I've actually gotten pretty proficient at that. So, yeah, I do all kinds of different gaming. It just depends on – it depends on my mood. Like, there are some days, like last night, where I sat down, I hung out, and I did some skate training and kicked it with everybody. So, yeah. Yeah, that was me. Because N-Word Boy is not allowed on this channel. N-Word Boy is Instaban. Or, as I like to say, N-Word Boy is straight up Insta-Kill. Because of the fact, the reason why I don't bring my dog on is because of the fact that I know people would try to have him taken. That's why, because I don't, I don't want to, you know, put my dog in that position and risk somebody calling animal control, man, oh, come get his dog, blah, 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 blah. Plus, they would probably do some fucked up shit. Like, they would probably do some fucked up shit. If they saw him. Bro, I know, right?
the trolls are evil. I did. You're the dude. I forgot it was Monday until I fucking looked at my clock this morning. I fucking looked at my clock on my phone. I'm like, dude, it's fucking Monday already. What the fuck? Yo, no shit. Yo, uh, what part of New York you in, man? Because when my dad was in the military, we actually lived out in um, we actually lived out in Watertown, New York. When I was a kid, I was about maybe six, seven years old uh, when my dad was in the military. We had actually lived out in Watertown on base. Yo, no shit. Small world, dude. I've actually been through Long Island, dude. Very nice place. Depending on where you go, dude, like, depending on where you go in Long Island, New York, it's actually pretty nice. But yeah, before my dad retired, I was actually, we were actually stationed at one point in Watertown, New York, out there on base. Which is fun. I didn't mind it. I had fun. Am I going to be barbecuing today? No, but I am going to be doing a vocal cover stream here in a little bit, which I am going to set up for Memorial Day. So I am going to be doing a Memorial Day vocal cover stream for you guys um, here in a bit. But before I do that, I am going to be doing some Fortnite matches for you guys. So that is going to be a thing. Yo, bet, dude. If I'm ever out that way, man, I'll definitely drop by. If I'm ever out that way, I got you. Grumpy, I never met you before in my life, dude. Like, I'm not saying that you're not out here. I'm not saying that you are an Akron. I'm just saying, like, I don't know you in that way enough to, you know what I mean? Like, if we were out in a public place and I was out with my family or whatever, and we were hanging out having fun, but, and the reason why I do that is because of the fact that I've had a lot of people try some shady shit when I was in public. I've had a lot of motherfuckers try some shit when I was in public going to the store and shit. And I'm not about to be jumped in front of my family like that, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, don't do it for me, man. Do it for the men and women that didn't make it back home, brother. They're the real ones, man. They're the real fucking heroes. So don't do it for me, man. Do it for those that didn't fucking make it back, man. Because the ones that didn't make it back, they're the ones that deserve the credit. They're the ones that didn't make it back home, bro. All right, Grumpy, I'm not saying that I don't believe you, but I, I'm, I'm going to test you on something. If we went to school together, what school was it? Was it North? Was it Garfield? Or was it East? Was it North? Was it Garfield? Or was it East High School? All right, Garfield. Oh, right, what was your name there? What year did you go to school there? Because I know what year I went to school there. What year was it that you went to school there? Oh, 
Like, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I just want to know. Like, if you are somebody from there, I want to know what year you went there so I can confirm whether you're actually real or not. Neil. Neil who? Because I don't remember anybody named Neil, honestly. Friends with Sam, which one? Which one were you, uh, which Sam were you friends with? Because I knew two different Sams. Which one were you friends with? Is it are you talking about Sam Lewis or Sam Klinger? Because Sam Lewis was the big tall goth. Well, they were both gothic in their own way, but which one was it? Was it did she have like the curly hair and shit? Real tall chick? Oh shit, okay. Um, yo, Grumpy, what's your uh what's your Discord? Hold on. All right, I got you. One sec. Hold up. Let's get rid of this one and go over here. All right, take it easy, money. Be safe, man. All right, there you go. Yes, I actually am going to be doing a Memorial Day uh, vocal cover show here in just a little bit for you guys. Hang out, have a good time, enjoy Memorial Day, have some fun. It's going to be fun. Can anyone add you on this one? Yeah, that's my Discord right there. So anybody that wants to add me up, y'all are more than welcome to. I can't see if you can type in something. Here, hang on. I'll do the uh, here. I'll do I'll do like this. I'll take and I am going to pin this comment. So it's right there. If you type in Ronin23481, that's me. Or my first name and then 2024. So, it should work. You know, if you win or not, but that should work. Bye.
All right, hang on. Let me check here. All right, I got you, man. I got y'all added up. We're good to roll. Am I gonna play that battleship game again? Oh, you mean uh, World of Warships? I was thinking about redownloading World of Warships. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but I was thinking about it. Cause I definitely had fun doing that, man. That was definitely sick. I had fun doing that. Hey, Bubble Bench, how you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. I ain't seen you in a while. How you been? We did, we did, we did. When I do some this season of Forza, I'm not too big on. I'm not really a big fan of this season of Forza. But I have been doing a lot of the brand new stuff they added into. Um, into Need for Speed or um, Need for Speed Unbound. I've been doing a lot of uh, the drift events, a lot of the drag events that they just dropped in. Yeah, for real, dude. It's better not be some fucking troll shit. Oh. But yo, anybody that wants to add me up on Discord, my Discord is the pinned comment there at the top right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there at the top. Right there is my Discord, right? Right there. You should get back into martial arts. I was thinking about it. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but maybe one day I might get back into it. Dude, I did, bro. I'm glad you reminded me, bro. I'm actually glad you reminded me of that. I actually need to download that. Thank you for reminding me, dude. I completely forgot. Like, I genuinely forgot about the Overwatch season. Because usually I don't forget. Because I've been playing Overwatch relentlessly. And I just, I guess I forgot. There we go, got it downloading. We're good. <laughs> Do I play Overwatch? Fuck yes. Dude, Diva is my fucking main. Diva can or Diva Genji and um McCreed are my three mains. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Diva's a fucking badass, bro. Like, you ain't fucking with Diva and getting away with it, dude. Like, she will fuck your world up, dude. Like, you fuck with Diva, it's you're done. It's over. You're not winning. <laughs> Yo, Reaper is not going to lie, bro. Reaper is a good choice. Reaper is a tough one. I fuck with Reaper. Now, when it comes down to uh, Paladins, when it comes down to Paladins, bro, Ruckus and Bolt or Kinesa are my two mains.
Yeah, Winston's good. I fuck with Winston. Yo, Joey, I got you. Yo, Moira, yo. Moira is good. Another very underrated one is fucking, um. Another very underrated one is, uh, fucking, what's her name? Not Tracer. I've seen too many Tracers. Uh, fucking Zenyana. Zenyana is so underrated. I uh, yo, dude, to uh, the dude that posted his Discord, go out to add me. Because I'm not finding you. It's not adding you in for whatever reason, dude. Bro, isn't he game over? Bro, if Diva got a hold of the trolls, dude, I, I couldn't imagine. It, it'd be over. What happened to those guys that interviewed me? Which ones? You talking about the guys from the other night? Or are you talking about the one before that? The rice guy. That rice guy fucking left YouTube. Uh, the guy that I did the interview with last night, uh, he still has his channel. <laughs> Love to hear the bitching live. Not all right. I will give that troll credit. That was probably the most original thing I've ever seen any troll say on any of my streams. And retro, I know even you can agree with that one, man. That's probably the most original thing they've ever said. It's ironic. But funny as fuck. As soon as I'm done downloading it, I will let you know what my username is. Because if, like, maybe we did run into each other. I don't know. Like I said, as soon as I'm done downloading it, because it is currently downloading, it's at 7% right now. Uh, once it's done downloading, I'll let you know my name. That way, in case we did run in, into each other at all at any point, we can bounce on and get some matches going. Yeah, you should be able to. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Also, how many of you guys play Fortnite at all? Just to fuck around with this guy a bit. Just to be funny. Oh, bro, really? You gonna sit there and... What the fuck? Alright, not gonna lie. That was pretty clever. Fuck it. Prop up and chill. 
Because if you guys do play Fortnite, I will uh, post in the chat. I will post my Epic Gamer Tag once we get rid of these trolls. Uh, bye bye, trolly, only, only, only. Goodbye. Oh, I've done that before myself, Jason. I've literally forgotten passwords to whole ass fucking email addresses. I don't have Splatoon, dude. I don't have a Switch, so I can't play Splatoon. All right, be safe, man. Hope you have fun. There is not going to be a homeless arc. What the fuck? And I'd love to know where y'all get this. I'm going to be homeless shit from, man. I, I would love to know. Like, where, where do you guys get this? You're going to be homeless. So, like, what? That math does not math to me. Sorry. Because when my parents pass, I've got friends and family that I can stay with. So that math doesn't add up in, it, it doesn't math to me, sorry. But then again, I don't listen to troll shit, so. Eh. But uh, if any of y'all do play Fortnite, here is my thing. If y'all ever want to... I'm sitting here type, thinking that I'm typing in chat. Oh, I can't stop you. Looks to me like I just did. Ha. Ah. Yo, the G-Man, what up? Like I said, man, I got friends and family that I can stay with. Bro, I swear to God, whenever I get my merch shop, whenever I get my merchandise shop up and going, once I get the troll shit dealt, dealt with, and I'm able to actually start releasing uh, products and merchandise, I swear to God, I'm going to make a shirt that literally says hashtag RIP trolls, and another one that's going to say hashtag no trolls allowed. I swear to God. Like, I'm going to make that a thing. How are we playing Bro, are you kidding me? That was literally my first... Dude, Mario Kart was literally the technically the first racing game I ever played on N64. So yes, I played Mario Kart. That was the, Mario Kart. I think what if you guys are around my age or within at least in your twenties or around my age, if you grew up in the nineties, Mario Kart hands down was the first ever racing game we ever played. Dude, I literally have a shirt that says fuck the fuck off downstairs somewhere. I actually have a shirt that says fuck, I don't know, it says fuck you, you fucking fuck. I actually have a shirt that says that. Retro, you've seen that shirt. That shirt that I have that says fuck you, you fucking fuck. I know you remember that shit.
But this shirt right here, I actually like a lot, man. This shirt right here is badass. This one right here is probably one of my favorite shirts, hands down. I know, I need to get a suit. I know, I need to. Because I've not actually, dude, believe it or not, I am a massive Zelda fan. And I have not played Tears of the Kingdom or the other one before that as of yet. I fucking need to. No, me and him are still not talking. We are still, he's still doing his own shit. Which means I don't hate him. I still love the guy. He's still my little brother. To me, he will always be my little brother. Like, I will always love Jake. He will always be a fan with me. That man will always be my little brother. So, like, when he's ready to talk to me, he'll talk to me. Right now, I'm giving him his space and letting him do what he needs to do. Like, if he wants to contact me, he has my, or not my number, but um, he has my Facebook, he has my mom's number. Um... He has all my Facebook. So he he knows how to get a hold of me. He knows where I live. If he wants to talk, he can he can pop over and hang out. It's all good. Well, right, y'all, I'm about to bounce for now. I'm about to set up for the Memorial Day cover stream for you guys. About to hang out, have some fun. So don't go nowhere and stay tuned in, and I'll be right back. Peace.